Welcome to Maple Mountain High School here tonight for for high school basketball as tonight it's the visiting Payson Lions and your Maple Mountain Golden Eagles still a couple of minutes away from tip Ryan Pickens alongside Jerry Huffman as we get set for the final conclusion of week one of region eight play and the banner just fell that was placed right next to us here as we are once again courtside down in the corner excited here for this one Ryan Pickens and Jerry Huffman and Jerry we had a exciting game over at Salem Hills Maple Mountain yeah. made a lot of a lot of strides and now it's easy to kind of maybe take a look at pace in and understand okay last year they were in 3a now they're playing up into 4a well how even, do you approach this to not overlook them well even not not being in the same region last year when they faced off last year Maple Mountain just barely scratched one out 67 is, or 69 67 so you can't overlook Payson I mean that I from what I hear that's the administrative uh, administration over there that's their favorite sport so that's that's one they focus on so if anything if Payson's gonna beat you in anything it'll be basketball and one of the big questions coming in as we kind of thought maybe throughout the last couple of days Kate Polson injuring that ankle in the final couple of minutes before the game yep. well final few minutes of that game against Salem Hills on Tuesday the question was well would he play would he not play he was in warm-ups and he was the usual Kate Polson yeah I, I, I talked to him before the game uh, he showed me his ankle it was a little swollen but he, he assured me they're gonna tape it up and put a brace on it, it looked like he had uh, ankle brace on both ankles so I expect him to go he's a gamer he's Kate Polson should be good we're a couple of minutes away from tip let's uh, let's squeeze in a break here real fast and then let's come back with the national anthem here from Maple Mountain High School it's the pace of Lions the Maple Mountain Golden Eagles coming up you're watching high school hoops here on Spanish Fork 17 hi welcome to two jacks pizza for the best pizza you'll ever taste and our world famous cheese sticks Come to Two Jacks Pizza on Main Street in Spanish Fork, or call us for a quick delivery. Are you hungry yet? In Spanish Fork, see your good neighbor, State Farm agent Lance Wilson, for your insurance and financial needs. MVP Sports is the number one source for sporting goods in Spanish Fork. Football, soccer, all the fall sports, we've got you covered. Check out our new custom t-shirt builder. Design at home and we'll build it for you. MVP Sports, 72 North Main in Spanish Fork. You know Triple T heating and cooling, but did you know that Triple T does plumbing? From tankless hot water, soft water, and reverse osmosis drinking water systems, right down to that leaky faucet. Triple T sure does plumbing. Call Triple T at 801-798-7711 today. Need a new car or truck? The Car Guys has the best selection of used vehicles at the best prices in Spanish Fork. The Car Guys know their automobiles to get you the best car for your needs and your budget. The Car Guys at 872 North Main in Spanish Fork. Welcome back to Maple Mountain High School. We're about to tip off here in about a uh, couple minutes. Uh, let's take a moment to thank our sponsors. We have the Car Guys. Sponsor our Car Guys in some replay. State Farm Lance Wilson with the Lance Wilson State Farm Great Assist, Triple T Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, Two Jacks Pizza, MVP Sports, and SFCN Built for Speed. So good matchup tonight. Uh, all players healthy. I think Maple Mountain is going to start. Cade Polson, Jaron Hall, Dawson Butler, Parker Christensen, and Sam Croman hook. Parker Christensen, of course, got our MVP Sports MVP of the game last uh, last week, and let's hope he can let's hope he can keep that run going because Maple Mountain needs that third score. It should be a lot of fun here as the pace of Lions. Provo went out, we gained pace in, and we still have that same color green with a similar looking uh, P on the front, Jerry. <laughs> I'm gonna avoid hopefully tonight calling them the Provo Bulldogs. That's okay, it's the same thing. It's Payson. <laughs> Payson's at five and five so far this year, 0 and one in region. Uh, they lost to Springville. Maple Mountain, on the other hand, eight and four, two and zero oh in region. So we're sitting on the top, top of the heat. I think along with uh, along with Springville. And I think we're going to take a pause right here for the ever awesome national anthem.
basketball we're gonna get ready for the starting lineup first for the visiting Payson Lions wearing their green uniform Michael Rowley the junior will come out first Marty Bledgy number five this is a Payson team that has some good size just kind of taking a look at those starters they very easily could kind of uh, put some pressure on Maple Mountain a little bit you know, they look they look pretty tall, but they need to hit the weight room. <laughs> Going to be interesting to see as this one goes here. Four quarters of basketball, just like normal, as lights will come off to, to introduce the Maple Mountain Golden Eagles. And once again, like we talked about, probably no changes in that Maple Mountain starting lineup. The Golden Eagles have to get off to a good start, though. Oh, well, we're starting senior Mark Morton tonight. Okay, Caleb. so it looks like we're going to go with senior night. Caleb Johnson. Jesse Gathercole. Wow, this is an they interesting. They are changing it up. This is kind of an interesting look. And senior Jaron Hall to anchor it. I guess they might be saving uh, Kate Polson. Yeah, Kate Polson not in the starting lineup. And this is going to be interesting because this is a much smaller group. There's no Sam Pro There's no... Uh, I don't remember seeing Sam Coleman hook. And here's Dawson Butler as well. He just gets introduced huh. here. I don't know if they're just introducing all the yeah, seniors I think they tonight. There's Coleman hook. I was going to say, this doesn't seem like it. As Kate well, Wilson gets introduced. So. We'll see who's actually on the court. It's kind of interesting. Typically, you just see the starting five announced, and I haven't noticed Maple Mountain do that the last couple of nights we've been here. But yep. tonight, anyway, they're going announcing a few extra players. I'm, and all seniors, so I, I expect those juniors that they did announce to be in the starting lineup. So we shall see here in about 10 seconds. So once again, we'll recap it for you. Colton Mortensen, number 32. It's going to be Michael Rowley, Marty Fledgy. Number 24, Jaden Terry, and number 21, Damon Bear. So number 32, Colton Mortensen for Payson is who we really got to watch out for tonight. He's averaging 19 points, seven rebounds a game. Uh, actually, Payson has three scorers: Bryce Weiberg, number 12, and Jaden Terry, averaging about 15 apiece. So we're we're uh, Maple Mountain tends to be too deep in scoring. Payson seems to spread it out, just one man more. So. We'll see as Dawson Butler set to tip it. Maple Mountain with that typical starting five. Tip is one. It's to be tipped out of bounds. Maple Mountain arrow. basketball. Right there. So Maple Mountain going with Parker Christensen, Jaron Hall, Dawson Butler, Sam Crowman Hook, and Cade Polson. Okay, so it was the starting lineup we thought. They're just, they're just announcing the extra seniors tonight. Jaron Hall with the basketball over. Here's Butler. Christensen. Had a great coming off of a great game. Oh my game. goodness, that number two is just being really physical with Kate Polson. Skip pass, here comes Parker Christensen. That'll be an interesting matchup. It's kind Kate of interesting Polson. to see. Polson's got about three inches on him. I just post him up down low and picks it back out. Here's Butler. He thought about it. He'll put it on the deck to the oh, basket. Oh, yeah. It in. That's what I like to see. Get the big man involved early. The first two of the game for Dawson Butler. 
And now we'll see the Payson Lions for their first possession here of the ball game. That one knocked away by Butler. Steal. He's long. Butler playing defensive back and wide receiver on the football team. Had a punt return, I believe, in one of his first games. He's deceptively fast, I'll tell you that. Drops it inside. That one trying to get Maple to Maple Mountain. Oh, I don't know. There's no foul called there. That has to be Maple Mountain basketball. But we're going to stay with Sal uh, Pro uh, Payson. Payson. Now you got me doing it. <laughs> Here comes the inbound. Going to go back up to the top. and We'll just call them the bad guys. Michael Rowley with the basketball. He gets it off quickly here. Damon Bear, number 21. They're trying to get it into Mortensen, who's guarded by Jaron Hall, but Hall doing a good job, and that's going to be a foul. We'll see who they're going to get. They're going to get Croman Hook with his ah. first. Croman Hook just a little too strong for uh, Blakey underneath. First team foul against Maple Mountain. First foul of the ball game here. Ball will be inbounded way into the backcourt. Polson's going to try to run it down. Payson in the all green, Maple Mountain in the all white. There's the drive and the kick. Here's a three on the way. That one is going to be off. Rebound goes to Parker Christensen. You know, looking at Payson's stat sheet, they like to throw the threes up. So expect a lot of three point attempts by Payson tonight. Butler with the basketball. Maple Mountain, here's Hall in the corner. Quickly picked up. Here's Poulsen coming off the screen. Rowley not giving him any room. So. Neither Hall nor Polson attempted the three right there. Hall, baseline drive. He lost it on his way out of bounds. And Jerry, it looks like he was passing I it to you. I got the ball. It's my turn. See that? I just threw that in. I'm See, in the game. There Put you go. Put on the stat sheet. One assist. Hopefully our camera over here is still lined up right. Unfortunately, the, uh, the official didn't score, so we can't give you an assist. But oh, it was a nice man. pass. <laughs> Story Shot of my life. Off. Rebound. Here's Hall. Hall picks up his dribble, gets it over. Here's Cade Polson. Jaron needs to look to score on that because they just left him. Kroman Hook, he passed up a wide open shot, gets it over to Butler in the corner. Payson moving very quickly. Here's Butler with Butler, a free throw line jumper. Four points. All four. I'd like to see Butler be a little more aggressive than he's been in the past. I want to see a dunk. Plain and simple, I want to see the big man throw it down, catch his elbow on the rim, and hang there. I'll take the technical. <laughs> Kicks it back out. Here's Rolly, number two, fadeaway jumper. That one is going to be off. Rebound goes to Kroman Hook. Nice job, Kroman Hook. Hook. might have gotten away with the travel there. In the front court, here's Cade Polson. Oh, behind the back. And Rolly, oh, but Butler comes out of nowhere to pick up the basketball. He'll collect it now in the corner. Parker Christensen. <laughs> Looked like he was asking Jaron Hall if he had permission to shoot it. <laughs> now we're going to get a carry against Parker Christensen. And Polson kind of with the... Kind of knocked down uh, <laughs> Rowley, helped him back up. And Poulsen is uh, grimacing in pain. Bit. That's the one hard part when you do get an ankle injury like that. It's it's a very sensitive injury, so one quick yeah. uh, one quick bump the wrong way can quickly cause another injury. Long weekend coming up. Hopefully he'll get a chance to rest it. Maple Basket. Mountain man defense. There's Rowley with the basketball. Polson giving him plenty of room. But Rowley's not really a scorer. So uh, Polson is coming out the garden. And that ball is going to be thrown away. It's safe. Oh, but oh they both take the whistle break. out. Kate Polson got all the way to the other end and then realizes, oh, it's heading back the other way. 4.27 to go in the first. We do want to thank the car guys for the car guys instant replay. And Lance Wilson State Farm for the great assist. And there will be many of those hopefully throughout tonight's game. After all, basketball, Jerry, is a team game. Here's Poulsen. He's going to go oh. up. He's going to be fouled as he goes up for the shot. Rolly. Rolly took one in the nose. That's what happens when you're a smaller guy on the court. And that's going to go against face Colton Mortensen. Your Morton. face is elbow height. Sorry, Jerry, I cut you off there. That's all right. It's all right. 
Polson. Good. Polson on the board. Four fifteen here in the first. Kid Polson will get the second of two coming up here. And that one's off. Good rebound by Butler, though. He comes out of nowhere, steps inside, kicks it to Croman Hook. Here's Hall for three. That one's long. Rebound, we're going to have a Man. foul, and it's going to be an offensive kind of a foul. Scrum. And I think, think here, as we're not sure Croman. who they're going to get. Croman, Croman Hook again. That's rare. Croman Hook gets into foul trouble early. He's got to sit down, and here comes uh, Colton Bingham. Man voted most likely to need a sandwich. As Bingham comes in <laughs> off the bench here, we do want to thank Triple T Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing and Two Jacks Pizza for helping out with broadcasts here on Spanish Fork 17. We thank everybody at home for tuning in here to high school basketball. Wide open underneath the basket as Blakey going to get it to go for two. A nice ball movement by Payson right there. Right back the other way, though, is Parker Christensen. Maple uh. Mountain will run. And they will look they to push Bueller it. They on the alley-oop right there. Would have thrown it down. And here we're going to get a whistle here. We're going to get a foul. Looks like it coming against the pace and Lions. Jaden Terry, too much hands. First foul against Terry, second team foul. 5-2 Maple Mountain here in the first quarter. Not, not, not really a barn burner, but we'll take the lead. Cade Poulsen guarded by Michael Rowley. This is going to be a very interesting matchup to watch as we go throughout the night. Now whatever happened to taking the mismatch and just posting up down low? Here's Colton Bingham with the basketball. He's got Colton Mortensen on him, and here's Parker Christensen. Butler in the corner, sets it up. Here's Bingham on the drive. That ball's going to be loose. On the deck, it's going to be thrown away. Here comes Payson back the other way. It's bare into the front court. And Maple Mountain just beat everybody down the court. Turnover back the other way. Hall to Polson to Christensen for the layup. Nice look, Kate Polson. And there is a Lance Wilson State Farm assist from Kate Polson to Parker Christensen. So we'll see watch that. the car guys instant replay. Sure enough, two for Christensen. Transition basketball will help you every time. Here's a three on the other end, that's good. And that is Jaden Terry. Maple Mountain not wasting any time. Here's Polson and they're gonna get Rolly here with his first foul. I don't know. He's been he's been hand checking uh, Polson all game. Third team foul. That's what you have to do. I mean, when you pull that Golden Wonka ticket and have to guard the leading, probably the leading scorer in Region Eight, you got to do something. And now it's going to be Chandler Reno coming in here for Payson and Caleb Johnson in for Maple Mountain. Stay tuned in the conclusion of our broadcast for the MVP Sports MVP of the game. Oh, nice screen. The ball is nearly thrown away, and it is. Payson forces another turnover, and the Lions come into the front court. Bear, number 21, with the basketball, now gets it around on the perimeter. Colton Mortensen drops it inside. Here's Bleggy again. That one's nearly thrown away. So Jaron Hall once again finds himself guarding the leading scorer for the other team, Mortensen. Baseline drives, throws up a wild shot. Christensen does a nice job of rebounding. Loose ball, though, is going to be won by Reno. That oh, was blocked stuff. by Butler. Loose ball picked up. Back the other way. Pulls it underneath the basket. Reverse layup. No, Caleb Johnson Caleb. comes away with it. Nice job. Hustling to the basket. Pulsen wanted the basketball, but got it to him late. Polson goes around Reno, drops it off to Butler. Looks like it's going to be on number five, Bleggy. Bleggy, Bleggy. It's going to go against Reno, actually. That's okay. going to be the first there. Fourth team foul against Payson, 147 to go in the first quarter. Do you thank our good friends here at Spanish Fork 17 for all their hard work in making this broadcast possible? Great to be with everybody here on a Friday night. Caleb Johnson with the basketball, guarded by Morton. And Hall open on a back cut, but door closed quickly. Butler with the jumper, no. Rebound, going to be pulled down by Mortensen. Damon Bear, number 21, with the basketball. Now the Lions will once again move around the perimeter. And both teams playing pretty good defense. 
Baseline drive, shot thrown up there by Reno, but that's going to be a foul here against Maple Mountain. They got Polson. As Mark Mortensen gets ready to check in at the table. So three fouls on the Golden Eagle, two on Croman Hook, which is why he is not on the court. So the Reno, Chan Chandler Reno. It's the first, cuts the lead down to one. So Maple Mountain got off to a very good start, a quick 5 nothing run, but then slowly Payson goes on a 6-2 to two run to come back here, and Chandler Reno here with a free throw, of it, having a chance to tie this one up. Free throw on its way, that one's good. We're tied up at 7. Caleb Johnson will bring the basketball up for Maple Mountain. A little bit of a slower pace now here. Caleb Johnson with the basketball. Johnson, Mortensen, Hall, Butler, and Christensen. There's no way that guy can guard Hall inside. Three for Mortensen. That one was well short. Christensen fighting for the rebound. And I don't know how, ooh, that was close. I thought he was out of bounds, but they must have said he saved it in the air. Under one minute to go here. Drops it inside. Here's Bledgy once again. Kicks it back out. Rowley looking to shake and bake. Gives it up to, uh, looks like Mortensen. Mortensen inside to Bleggy. Over to Reno. No shot. Rowley again. So Mortensen with zero points so far. Bleggy with puts the it jumper. Up. Nope. And Butler pulls away the rebound. Man, this Butler kid, he's looking really good. Kicks it out. Christensen for three. Uh, Got it. What now? Parker Christensen, five points so far with that three-pointer. Ten seconds left to go in the first quarter. Lions will likely hold here for the final shot. Five on the clock. Skip pass over. It's going to be a three. That is going to be off for Terry. Rebound, though. It's oh, blocked by Butler at Butler. the buzzer. And we get ready here as we'll get a car guys instant replay. It's Butler with the behind the pack. The kick out to Christensen sends us to the end of the quarter. 10-7, Maple Mountain. Hi, welcome to Two Jacks Pizza. For the best pizza you'll ever taste and our world-famous cheese sticks, come to Two Jacks Pizza on Main Street in Spanish Fork or call us for a quick delivery. Are you hungry yet? In Spanish Fork, see your good neighbor, State Farm agent Lance Wilson, for your insurance and financial needs. Start of the second quarter here on Spanish Fork 17, and the Golden Eagles leading the Payson Lions 10-7 at the end of one. Sounds like a football score, but uh, right now <laughs> we, we are indoors playing basketball tonight as Coach Johnny Averett and company try to build off that year they had last year that had a deep run into the state tournament. Brian Pickens alongside Jerry Huffman as we get set for the second quarter and impressions in that first quarter Jerry um, both teams playing pretty good defense uh, kind of a scrum packed house though tonight looks good looks like Maple Mountain fans are all in white white out white face paint nice high school atmosphere here for here on Friday night right down the lane Reno got it stripped loose ball is gonna be thrown out it's gonna be stolen oh, by that's Johnson a foul. There's going to be a foul here going to get Payson. Rowley cutting out the legs of Johnson on that loose ball. Maple Mountain will start the second quarter. Hall, Christensen, Mortensen, Johnson, and Butler. So more of the kind of the same as Barr returns. Yeah, Rowley's coming out with two fouls. Caleb Johnson holds the basketball at the top, number 12 for Maple Mountain. Here's Butler moving the basketball at the top. He's going to kick it out. Here's Johnson. He thought about it, puts it on the floor past Christensen. Butler for three. That one's going to be off. Rebound goes right to Mortensen, though. Baseline, Mortensen will throw it out. Christensen for three. That one's good. Oh, man, You can that tell kid. when it left his hands, it was good. Parker Christensen picking up the slack for uh, Kate Polson. On the bench, probably nursing that ankle a little bit. 
It's nice getting as much rest as, he, as we can. Backdoor cut. Here's Leggy again. Gets it to go. Maple Mountain right back the other way. Caleb Johnson right around. Kicks it out to Christensen. Christensen swings it back. Butler free throw line jumper. No. Here's Johnson for three. That one is off. Rebound will be tipped around. and Butler's everywhere. It will stay. It looks was... like it's going to stay here with Maple Mountain. Oh, I thought Butler tipped that out. So... So Kate Polson comes back in and so Parker the, Christensen heads to the, the bench. The Patriots coach wondered what's going on too. Coach Dan Lunt is like, I saw the big man tip it out, but I guess they, I guess the officials have a different set of glasses than I have. Butler with a cut to the basket. Give Caleb Johnson a Lance Wilson State Farm great assist oh. on the inbound play. It'll be a long night for Payson if they let that happen. And now Lions trying to get it in and they will barely get it in before the five seconds call does bar. Barr with the basketball, now gets it over. Here's Mortensen, puts it on the deck, picks up his dribble. Skip pass back to Barr. Barr dribbling around, here's the pass inside. In the post, one-on-one, -on -one. there's the turnaround for Bledgy. That one off, rebound goes to Mortensen. Maple Mountain will look to run. Here's Caleb Johnson, he's gonna attack the basket. He's oh, gonna get a block as he goes up. That looked like he hit his elbows, but hey. Barr able to make it, looks like enough play on the ball there to. Here comes Jesse Cather Cole in for Kalen Hall. Always nice to see Gather Cole on the floor. Senior defensive back for Maple Mountain this year. Johnson inbounds deep here and gets it back into Cade Polson. Polson now guarded by Chandler Reno. Takes it to the basket, kicks it out. Here's Mortensen. He thought about it. He'll kick it back. Polson. He'll take that all day. And that one was long. Rebound goes to Butler. Maple Mountain will reset. Keep Here's taking Mortensen. those shots, young man. Keep taking those shots. Polson down the lane to the basket. Gets it blocked right to Gather Cole for the two. Nice job, Jesse Gather Cole. And Payson wants to talk about it. Is Not a bad <laughs> def defensive segment there. But right there, as we see on the car, guys, instant replay. Jesse Gathercole in the right place at the right time. So Jesse Gathercole gets on the board. Good to see him scoring. Let's uh, let's thank our sponsors. We have the car guys. State Farm, Lance Wilson, Triple T Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, Two Jacks Pizza, MVP Sports, and SFCN, Built for Speed. So 17-9 here, 5.57 to go before halftime, and not a bad... Not a bad timeout here if you're Coach Dan Lunt and the Payson Lions to try to try to calm the waters, shall we say. I mean, you know, you, the difference you notice between Payson and Maple Mountain is that Maple Mountain looks looks like they're in much better shape. I, haven't, a, I haven't seen Payson able to get a fast break. That one knocked away. Here's Butler up ahead. Johnson, one-on-one. -on -one, he lays it in. Oh, nice. Looked him off. Just kind of slowed down, just took a split second and kissed it off the glass. 19-10 in favor right now of Maple Mountain. Hey, now you see how Maple Mountain, you know, got that fast break. Maple Mountain gets back so fast on a turnover that they have to set it. They have to do a half-court defense. Bar baseline drive runs into traffic, and now he's oh. going to have it ripped away by Bueller. Who Bueller was that man? Pat. Throw it down. The basket, and he got it to go. Count the basket. Oh, They're going nice. to get. They're going to get Terry with a block, and that's an and one. Hopefully we can see that because I missed it. That was on Jaden Terry. Butler score that. He got nine, he has eight points. Chance for nine right here. Some discussion coming. Payson wanted that to be called a charge, but as we'll see here on the car guys instant replay, Dawson Butler, yeah, oh, that's, there's, that's a block. That's He's, a block. He, he didn't have position. Had he been set maybe... A couple of seconds earlier, I could have seen the call, but Butler misses oh. the free throw, tipped around, rebound pulled down by the Payson Lions. Dawson Butler with eight points. Parker that one's stolen also. away. Here's Caleb Johnson. Oh, Leaves left it for it. Gather Cole for two. That's team basketball right there. Another Lance Wilson State Farm great assist from Caleb Johnson to Jesse Gather Cole. That one knocked away by Poulsen, but he's going to knock it out of bounds instead of coming up with the steal. Definitely seeing Maple Mountain all over the place. Damon Barr trying to tell his guys, hey, just calm down. Let's just, and that's really what right now Payson has to do is they just have to slow it down a little bit here. Barr will go into the backcourt here. Now he'll kind of walk it up. 
So Not a bad way to go. Number 32, Colton Mortensen for Payson, who usually averages 20 points a game, sitting on zero. 4.30 left to go in the first half. Barr with the basketball goes right, right around the screen. Now he's going to look to do something with it. Here's Bludgie. That one almost thrown away. Ooh, almost got, got away oh. at the travel. That one, Gather Cole jumped in front of it, but couldn't come up with the steal. Bar inside. Oh, Bludgie. blocked. Oh, Dawson Bueller doing it all. And I think that's the thing that's more impressive tonight about this, Jerry, is it's not like Maple Mountains just hitting a bunch of threes. No. The defense is really right now what's mo more impressive. Yeah, holding them to nine points. No fast break points. Just hustle, hustle, hustle for Maple Mountain. We're going to get a foul here, and I believe we'll see who they're going to get, but it might be Mortensen. It's going to be oh, Kate Polson. Kate Polson. So that's two on Polson. Sorry, Jesse Gathercole, they're going to say here. Wait. Okay. His first. So let me take that one away from Polson. Ball inbounded up here. Hagen Wright, number 23 in the game. That Way one's long. off for Barr. That ball's going to go out of bounds. It's going to go off of gonna stay Maple with, Mountain. Going to stay with uh, the Lions. We do want to thank Two Jacks Pizza and Lance Wilson State Farm for helping make this broadcast possible here on SFCN. Bludgie with the basketball, drops it inside. Lions will pull it back out. Payson wants to shoot the three, and Maple Mountain's not letting him get a really good look. They are all, they are all over him. Bludgie almost throws it away. That ball's going to be up by Terry. That one's knocked by Caleb Johnson. Man, that guy can leap. Polson runs it down in the corner up ahead. Here's Mortensen in transition. He goes to the basket. Oh, he drops it oh. in the middle but throws it away. Bludgie comes away with it. Here's Colton Mortensen, and somehow Cade Polson able to knock it away. And... That was a great thought from uh, Mortensen to Johnson. I don't think Johnson was expecting that down, that pass from that close inside, but that would have been a great play. 3.44 to go before halftime, 23-9 in favor of Maple Mountain. Maple Mountain contesting everything. Look at that. Mortensen hits a three. Oh, he's on the board. Can't play much better defense than that. Hall basically almost got a piece of that. Here's Mark Mortensen now. Cade Polson's going to get a touch. Hagen right all over him. Polson to the basket. It's going to lay him with the left hand. Tell you, if I hadn't seen it, I wouldn't tell you he had any sort of an ankle injury this week. Oh, no. Little Princess Bride action there with the left hand. I'm not left-handed. Colton Mortensen <laughs> drops it inside, and Bludgie's able to get the bank shot to go. Right now, here's Hall back the other way. Payson doesn't get back, oh. but it's blocked by Mortensen. Guess Mortensen got back just in the nick of time to block the shot. So Jaron Hall also with zero points. Damon Barr with the basketball. Here's a drops inside. Mortensen goes up against Polson, and that one's going to go every time for Colton Mortensen. Well, can't let Mortensen get started. That's five points in just 30 seconds. Payson's cut it back within nine here. 2.25 to go before half. Here's the kick to Gather Cole. Gather Cole pick up the ball, gets it back over to Cade Polson. Polson steps through, and we're going to get a foul here. It looks like it's going to go against Payson. That's going to put Maple Mountain at the free throw line. Payson that, will go shoot a 1-1 one -one here. At 23, Hagen right, I believe. 23 with the hold. 1-1. One one. I do want to thank the car guys for the car guys and some replays throughout tonight's game. And Triple T heating, cooling, and plumbing. Wow, we're almost to halftime. This game feels like it just started. 2.17 to go before the half. As Kate Polson will shoot a one and one. Kate Polson, three, three points so far in the night. He makes the first, he'll get a second. And Polson hits the first. Tickles the twines. Maple Mountain currently with Hall, Christensen, Gather Cole, Polson, and Caleb Johnson. Maple Mountain going pretty small there, but Caleb Johnson's done a great job in the post. That one's good. So we'll see if maybe the foul and the free throws kind of calms Maple Mountain down defensive, defensively as well. Bar with the basketball gets it over here. It's right. Right. Christensen all over him. 
Barr had a chance to shoot it and does. It's the two. Right back the other way. Here's Poulsen in transition. Goes up against Mortensen. The bank shot doesn't go. There's going to be a push against Payson. Yep. Kind of kind of shot put that one up there, but it looks like number four, Reno, is going to get a foul. Eighth team foul. Second team foul against Reno. So now Poulsen will go to the free throw line and get a pair. First one for Poulsen on its way. And good. Katie Poulsen with the 70s hair now has six points. Well, that's just the thing. We talked about Maple Mountain maybe the other night. Didn't shoot the free throw extremely oh, no. great at Salem Hills. And Not at all. That's definitely something that down the line, that, could, that ends up costing teams games sometimes. I mean, you're getting a chance to shoot with nobody contesting you. Poulsen's second on the way is good as well. So with five free throws, Poulsen now has seven. Barr with the basketball guarded by Poulsen. Poulsen playing him to his left. Oh, he yeah. wants to force him to go to that left side. Barr with the basketball right around Gather Cole. He'll take the two. That one's long. Rebound pulled down by Dawson Butler. Butler out ahead quickly to Poulsen. Poulsen into the front court, takes it to the basket, lays oh, it up, count the basket, it. the foul. Hey, Poulsen, man on fire. And once again, Payson goes on a quick little run, but then the Golden Eagles come back with their own run. Well, that's three fouls on Reno. As you see Car Guys in some replay. Ooh, climbs the ladder. So now Reno, I would imagine, will probably have to go to the bench here for the rest of the half. And okay, Poulsen, Poulsen. free throw. Three the hard way. But Dan Lunt's going to leave him in the ballgame. Maple Mountain bringing a little bit of a press here. Reno with the basketball in the corner. Now we'll set it back up top. Not a threat to shoot. Kate Poulsen just off of him. Barr with the basketball up at the top. Guarded by Jaron Hall. Switches here. And there's Colton Mortensen for three. That one's going to be off. Rebound going to be tipped around. Controlled by Dawson Butler. Butler kind of a jump pass. Able to get it out of his hands though before he traveled. Yeah, Christensen had a very opportune place and Maple Mountain will set something up here 45 on the clock before halftime do you want to thank MVP sports for the MVP of the game to be named at the conclusion of our broadcast and our good friends here at Spanish Fork 17 gather call with the ball drives lays it up called foul called nice job Jesse gather call forcing the issue that looks like 12. It's going to be Colton Wait. Mortensen second. Oh, Colton Mortensen. They're going to say he got Gather Cole on the head as Gather Cole went up for the layup. Uh, he's got a hard head. He's all right. Jesse Gather Cole, more active than I've seen him in previous games, and I like it. it misses Come the on, first free Jesse. Throw Hit the free throw. Gather yeah, Cole will get the second one. Payson now in the double bonus. So, sorry, Maple Mountain now in the double bonus. So they'll shoot two free throws on every uh, every foul. Butler skies high. Loose ball is going to be one. Oh, stay off Question the Question is who what? I don't think they're going to give it to Payson with 26 seconds. We'll see. Maple Mountain's going to set up a press right here. 20, yeah, 26.9 seconds. No easy baskets. Skip pass here. Here's going to be. This is right with the basketball. Goes up against Poulsen, kicks it back out. Payson will try to play for one here with 18 seconds. Yeah, Mortensen had a free throw line jumper right there. Gave it up to eat, eat clock up. I don't know why you'd eat clock down by 15. Seven seconds on the clock. Barr with the basketball, gets it here to Mortensen. Loose ball. He's going to be on the deck, picked up by Jaron Hall. Seconds, He's got to put up. something up. He gets blocked at the buzzer by Reno. And that's going to end the first half. The Maple Mountain Golden Eagles looked well defensively. They turned some of that defense into offense, and it pays off. Maple Mountain 32, pace at 18. We'll take a break. You're watching High School Hoops here on Smash 417. MVP Sports is the number one source for sporting goods in Spanish Fork. Football, soccer, all the fall sports, we've got you covered. Check out our new custom t-shirt builder. Design at home and we'll build it for you. MVP Sports, 72 North Main in Spanish Fork. 
You know Triple T Heating and Cooling, but did you know that Triple T does plumbing? From tankless hot water, soft water, and reverse osmosis drinking water systems, right down to that leaky faucet. Triple T sure does plumbing. Call Triple T at 801-798-7711 today. Need a new car or truck? The Car Guys has the best selection of used vehicles at the best prices in Spanish Fork. The Car Guys know their automobiles to get you the best car for your needs and your budget. The Car Guys at 872 North Main in Spanish Fork. Back here at halftime on Spanish Fork 17, the Maple Mountain Golden Eagles leading the Payson Lions 32-18. to Ryan Pickens alongside Jerry Huffman. And Jerry, when you take a look at that first half, defense was really the story oh, yeah. for Maple just, Mountain. Just the hustle by Maple Mountain. Payson did not have an easy shot or, or an uncontested shot. Um, and Maple Mountain attack, 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 attack. So 32-18 is a result of that. Some, some exciting uh, basketball for Maple if you're a Maple Mountain fan. It's going to be really interesting just to kind of see what's going to have to happen here in the uh, second half because really if, you, if you're pacing, you had a difficult time getting a, getting a stop and getting a shot really, but then all of a sudden everything just kind of changes and when you can't get even a good look at the basket, it's hard to have a productive offense and you turn the ball over. Yep. You just had multiple things if you're the pacing Lions that just didn't go your way tonight. So... You know, they were able to get a little close with a, with a few threes by Colton, Mor Colton Mortensen and Jaden Terry. But after that, Maple Mountain just shut them down again. So um, Payson kept fouling and putting Maple Mountain in the bonus. So, you know, that's just, that's a story. Points from the line. I mean, Kate, uh, Kate Polson has 10 points, half of those, uh, over half of those, six, six of those from the free throw line. So Maple, uh, Maple Mountain really taking advantage of the fouls. Let's see, we've got Chandler Reno for Payson, three fouls, two fouls for Jaden Terry, and two for Colton Norton. So they got they got, uh, they got got the Lions in foul trouble early. And it's going to be definitely something to kind of take a look at is the second half is about 30 seconds or so away. If you're Maple Mountain, you have to continue what you did in the first half. This is not a situation where you want to let the Lions slowly creep back in. Oh, no, they, they have to put them away here in the third quarter. And, uh, you know, great defense by Dawson Butler. Um, role, pe role players like Jesse Gathercole scoring. So everything going Maple Mountain's way tonight so far. Let's hope, we can, hope they can keep it. So it'll be kind of interesting to see here right now. We're about, Payson's already taking the floor. We're just waiting here as everybody right now <laughs> in the Maple Mountain student section having some fun here as they get ready to start a long weekend here in Spanish Fork throughout most places, I should say, throughout the uh, country. So Maple Mountain, Welcome of course. Welcome to the mountain. Oh, sorry, we're in Spanish Fork. Welcome to the mountain. That's it. Welcome to the mountain. As right now, as everybody gets ready to go, as I was trying to do that, officials are trying to make sure everyone gets off the court here. And now we're set ready to go. Maple Mountain in the white, Payson in the green, just like High post, rims out for Cade Polson. Roley runs for Payson. Over to Barr, guarded by Christensen. So Christensen, uh, Croman hook, Polson, Butler and Hall in for Maple Mountain. Croman hook had to sit for a while. He has two fouls. Barr with the basketball back at the top. Payson's going to try to set this up here. It's going to be interesting to see here. Barr with the basketball now. Leggy tries to set the screen as here's the drive. That one knocked away and stolen. Here comes Jaron Hall. Hall, bounce pass up ahead. Bueller. Oh, get in there. The awesome, Bueller. Ten points for the big man. Maple Mountain increasing that lead. Once again, the defense leading to offense tonight for Maple Mountain. Drops it inside. Here's Roley. He'll set it back up to the top. So interesting. The point guard for Payson, number two, Roley, only averaged about three points a game. And I think this is the one thing when you're so, when you rely so much on the three, on the three, Jerry, is when you can't find open looks, your offense is going to stall and oh, just yeah. slow down pretty quick. Live Here's by the, the three, die by the three. Just as I say that, Jaden Terry yep. hits one in the corner. Cuts the lead to 13, 
Christensen with the basketball. Here's Polson for three. That one was long. long. Mortensen pulls the board. Payson's going to run. Here's Barr into the front court. Kicks it back out. Terry puts it on the deck. He goes to the ah. basket, and we're going to foul here. And I think he'll get Jaron Hall here with the ball. I think that's going to go on Bueller. He hit him when he hit him in the head with the forearm. First personal against Dawson Bueller. First team foul, and so Jaden Terry will head to the free throw line. Do you want to thank the car guys for the car guys instant replay here on Spanish 417? As missing the first one there was Jaden Terry. 34-21, Maple Mountain. So Terry does lead all scorers for Payson with six points. Make that seven. seven. Maple Mountain going right back the other way. Hall sets it up in the front court. Back to Perlman Hook. Christensen takes the deep three and hits. He is three for three from downtown tonight. Parker Christensen. The lead goes back to 15 for the Golden Eagles. Good to see his confidence because when it comes playoff time, it's going to be needed. It's a floater. That one goes up and good right over Cade Colson. Christensen right back the other way. Dawson Butler sets it up in the front court. Man, I keep feeding Christensen right now. He's got the hot hand. Croman Hook in the corner. Croman Hook pulls it back. Here's Hall. Hall will set the offense up. Ah. Here's Christensen. He gives it up. Gets Give it, it to Croman Hook. I want to see him score. Butler might have had Hall in the back cut, but it held it in. Probably the smarter move. Christensen will back it out. Run some offense, burn some clock. Polson loses the ball, and here comes the Lions the other way in transition. And the ball throw oh, ahead. Coming our way. <laughs> runs it away. How about Crawford? Oh, Hook? you cannot. Oh, he called a timeout. A timeout. I was going to say. I thought she was going to call a foul. I was about to come unglued. That was great defense by Maple Mountain. Timeout pace in here with five minutes to play. We do want to thank Lance Wilson State Farm for the. For the uh, Lance Wilson, great assist. Thank State you. State Farm, great assist. Thank you. Triple T, Two Jacks Pizza, MVP Sports, and F SFCN. I'll get my words right. You okay there, days. Ryan? It is. You had a little cold, med cold <laughs> medicine in you? No. <laughs> nope. I uh, haven't had that yet. I might know when I get home tonight for sure. I'm oh, coming yeah. down with a little bit of a bug here. So thank you, everyone, for your patience at home tonight. 37-24, Maple Mountain on top as the Payson Lions will have possession. They're going to have it right at the end of their bench. Maple right in Mountain. front of us here. Maple Mountain student body having a good time tonight. Jaden Terry set to inbound. Oh, how do you get around the big man like that? Payson will set it up. Here's Colton Mortensen. Mortensen goes around the screen. Trying to set the screen. Looks like he's kind of moving around there on that screen. Oh, almost got his pocket picked by Christensen. I like the aggressive defense for Maple Mountain. Nice. They switch. They double team. They always seem to be in the right spot tonight. Really didn't want to take the open look at a three. Now he'll try to drive in. Payson's just moving the ball around the perimeter. That's their entire offense, it seems. Really with the ball in the corner. And I mean, it works, you're trailing, so threes will help you, but Colton Mortensen takes it hard to the basket, count the basket, Fouled the by foul. by Hook, I believe. If that is, that's going to be the third on Croman Hook, and Let's with see. that, they can cut it yeah. back within one. Couldn't tell, but it looks like they did call it on Croman Hook. His third. Wait. No, what? They got Dawson Butler, but. Butler. I thought Butler picked up one in the well, first that, half. Yeah, if that's Butler, then it's two on Butler. So Payson back within 10 here. The clock hasn't even started running yet. So they did, look, they did change that foul over to Croman Hook. So that Croman Hook has three fouls. Now the clock begins to run as well. Clock ran with about four seconds without moving. Oh. I doubt the kids will mind, though. They're sure no. just having fun. Roley, he's a little fireball out there for, for Payson. Hall rises up and knocks down the three. Funny you say rises up because... Uh, Jaron, of course, going to BYU. Rise up. Um, I wasn't even thinking about Ty that Demmer, at all. Ty Demmer was in school yesterday visiting with Coach Burtonshaw and with uh, with uh, Jaron Hall, making sure he's still coming to BYU. So that's going to be a that could be a 
pretty fun offense to watch at BYU. Oh, with, yeah. I'm with a, Ty Detmer. I'm a big and, Ty Detmer fan. You know, Kalani Sataki coming in. That's going to be a be a fun uh it's gonna be an interesting year for sure for byu football oh yeah I, I i i got my byu stuff out of the closet dusted it off i was a big ty Dittmer fan back in the day hall on the back cut couldn't finish loose ball gonna be ran down by the pace and lions hall tried to tip it and couldn't quite get it to go down colton mortensen with it in the corner he goes around the screen there as Bletchie goes down to the oh, turn. Nice. Poked away by Christensen. And knocked away. We're going to get a whistle here. And I think we're going to get a reach-in foul against the Lions here with 3.08 to go in the quarter. Do I think Triple T heating, cooling, and plumbing and two Jacks pizza. So Payson with two people, two guys with three fouls, Reno and Terry. 40-27 in favor of Maple Mountain, third quarter. Oh, they missed. Kromenhoek. They missed Kromenhoek coming up from the baseline. Christensen for three. That ah. one's off. Rebound. He goes to Butler right Get back it out. Oh, Kicks it over to Hall. Here's Kromenhoek in the corner. He'll skip pass over. Christensen pulls in the corner for three. That one's Pulsen long. Pulls will pass up the shot on the three. And Mortensen <laughs> will look at it, but let it go out of bounds. And they're going to keep it here with Maple Mountain. Wow. So uh, Pulsen yet to hit a three tonight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a little uh, little little leeway to him for the ankle. Trying to overcompensate a bit. His three's going a bit long. But Parker Christensen pick, picking up the slack for everybody. Here's Croman hook for three. That one's off. Rebound gonna be ran down by the Lions and Colton Mortensen. Baseline drive floats it up and that oh, one goes. Wow. They're gonna say a foul here. They're gonna say a push. That, it looks like. So that will be Butler's second. Third team foul against Maple Mountain, 228. Wow, this Jayden. game's going quick. Yeah, Jaden Terry going to the line. No place I'd rather be on a Friday night, though. Exactly. Maple Mountain will head on the road on Tuesday. They'll head over to Heber to take on Wasatch. Then they'll be back at home next Friday. We got Springville coming to town. Yep. Always a fun time when the Red Devils make the short trip from Springville. Second one is going to be rolled in and off and rebound pulled out here by Maple Mountain. Here's Poulsen in oh. rhythm and he hits the three. That's what he needed. He needed to create his own shot. Kate Poulsen with 13 points now. Seven below his average of 20. Mason will move it right around the perimeter here once again. So great help defense by the Golden Eagles. They're rotating well. They're doing a great job of, of switching. And that one's thrown away. Oh, and that's going to be a turnover. So now what I'd like to see on offense is uh, them do some set plays and see if they can get some points inside the paint. If you want to thank MVP Sports for the MVP of the game, which will be named here at the conclusion of our broadcast tonight. You know, I say that, but a three from Kate Polson is always welcome. Here's Mortensen into Butler, kicks it out. Here's Polson. He thought about it. Tacks on the drive, throws it out. Here's Hall for three. That one was long. Mortensen pulls the rebound. Ah, and they're gonna get a foul here as that's Butler. Silly went foul to reach by in. Butler. That's three for him. He's gonna have to take a seat for a while. Two quick ones here late in the third quarter. Yep. It's nice. It shows that he's he's uh, being aggressive in his play. Just uh, but a foul like that, kind of ticky tack on the on the uh, your own baseline, that's never good. Especially, I mean, not a, I mean, not anything yeah. making a play on the ball or anything like that. Nope. Right in front of the official. He's a junior. He'll learn. Rolly with the basketball number two crosses up. Polson takes him to the basket. Oh, that was swatted by Kroman Hook. He tried to save oh, it. Oh, he almost had the rebound as well. That was similar to a play that uh, made the top plays of our high school sports season last year. Oh, that I remember that. Play against Pleasant Grove when he dove and then tipped it right off yep. the back of the Pleasant Grove Viking. I forget who it was for Pleasant Grove. He is such a hustle player and I believe Cromanhook has a scholarship for soccer. I want to say BYU too, right? I, I, I think so. That one is going to be off and rebound goes to Cade Polson. I mean, the kid is an athlete. Up ahead, Caleb Johnson thought about passing it then yeah. kind of throws up a wild Cromanhook, shot. Cromanhook turned his back. <laughs> he got caught in the air going, ah, crap, what am I going to do now? 
throw up something and hope it goes down. Uh, he hit the rim. It happens a lot when I play basketball, Jerry. Crumman Hook <laughs> pulls the rebound, gets it ahead to Caleb Johnson. Up ahead, here's Polson. He'll take a three. That one is off. Rebound going to go right back to Cade Polson. Oh, Polson look tries at to Hall underneath. We had a foul here against Payson. So they're going to get Rowley here with Rowley. the hold. So that's second. three on Rowley. Second team foul against the Lions here. Really? That's only two? It's only two in the quarter. Huh. Johnson will pass up the three. Roman Roman hook for oh, uh, wow, I, wanted to, I wanted to ring it up for him. The kid does so much work underneath, I want to see him get on that scoreboard. Such a good kid, too. The deep three on the way. That is good in the corner. That was forward in the ball game. Polson going right around Ooh, rolling. Spin move. Fade away. Cha -ching. Uh, K Polson making it look easy. 12 seconds remaining here in the quarter. It's going to be Damon Bear with the basketball. Bar crosses up Chroman Hook. Spins down the lane, kicks it out. A three is put up. They wanted to block. Now they're going to oh, get a foul. Oh, you cannot. You cannot. He was boxing out for a shot. That has to be an over the back. That's ridiculous. And Payson more upset, thinking Jaden Terry was fouled there on that. Woo! And so it's definitely something right here. I mean, you can probably hear, the, hear, hear right uh, there. You can probably hear uh, Coach Lunt through my microphone. The official's the one yelling, knock it off. We'll see there. So there's, there I mean, there, there's. I didn't see anything there. Maybe. Caleb Johnson, I mean, made some contact, but I don't think it off altered the shot that uh. much. And you have to remember, too, as an offensive player, you can't really initiate that kind of contact to, no. draw, to draw the foul. You can draw the foul, but you can't lean in necessarily and initiate the contact. Coleman Hook just kind of throws one up, and uh, it's well short. But at the end of the third quarter here at Maple Mountain High School, it's the Maple Mountain Golden Eagles 45, the Pace of Lions 32. You're watching high school basketball here on Spanish Fork 17. MVP Sports is the number one source for sporting goods in Spanish Fork. Football, soccer, all the fall sports, we've got you covered. Check out our new custom t-shirt builder. Design at home and we'll build it for you. MVP Sports, 72 North Main in Spanish Fork. You know Triple T heating and cooling, but did you know that Triple T does plumbing? From tankless hot water, soft water, and reverse osmosis drinking water systems, right down to that leaky faucet. Triple T sure does plumbing. Call Triple T at 801-798-7711 today. Need a new car or truck? The Car Guys has the best selection of used vehicles at the best prices in Spanish Fork. The Car Guys know their automobiles to get you the best car for your needs and your budget. The Car Guys at 872 North Main in Spanish Fork. Welcome back. Start of the fourth quarter. You're watching Maple Mountain Golden Eagles versus Payson Lions. Maple Mountain in white, Payson in green. Golden Eagles have a 13-point lead, 45-32. to 32. Uh, Defense is the name of the game tonight for the Golden Eagles. Just swarming, double-teaming, uh, help defense. Look really good. So expect more of that in the fourth quarter. I think Payson's in trouble. The Lions better hope the three-pointers start falling because so far Maple Mountain has played such a good job defensively. It's been hard for Payson to have a really good open look. The Payson's leading scorer only has eight Cross points. Cross-court pass. Boyack almost got the steal. That one's going to be floated up over Hall. Rowley. Rowley, their point guard, gets on the board. Hall into the front court. Back up Chrome and Hook. Johnson with it, number 12. He'll hold it in direction of traffic. Tyler Boyack in the game. He gets the ball inside. Oh, put that up, Boyack. And now kicks it back out. Chroman Hook to Johnson. Johnson struggled with the catch at first, but regains control. Mortensen in the corner. So burning time off. Kate Polson getting a well-deserved rest. I'm kind of surprised to see Payson go into a 2-3 zone. Maple Mountain shot, has shot pretty well from outside. Oh. Hall cuts the basket for a layup. Oh, Thank that you. A, that was a horrible zone. Give you're, Caleb you're let Johnson. That happen. Sorry. Give Caleb yeah. Johnson a Lance Wilson State Farm great assist to find a Jaron Hall underneath the basket. Here's the drive and Payson just, uh, there's a nice drive for uh, Bear as he takes it to the basket. sleep on defense right there. Four right points back for Ball. the other way. Mortensen inside Hall with the layup. You know, you see Hall fading away as the shoot set. I'd like to see him actually go into somebody. Try and draw the foul as long as well as the points. Rolly with the basketball gives it off. Here's Jaden Terry. 
You know, I see Payson afraid to shoot the ball. Look at that. He's wide open. And uh, Hook has backed off him to help defense. you got to shoot that ball. Mortensen turns inside, and we're going to have a foul here. Looks like against Maple Mountain. It's going to be a foul against Jaron Hall. You know, one thing, Jerry, yep. you wouldn't have to ask me twice to shoot that. I'd shoot that all day. Heck, yeah. Whether I'd make it or not, that's a whole other story. I mean, but, uh, <laughs> Hook was saying, I dare you to shoot it. Yeah. You know, you got to take him up on that. Otherwise... All you are is a ball handler, and which is good, but you know enough people see that on film, which it looks like Maple Mountain has scouted that out, that he's not going to take that shot. Good to see film work in basketball. I'm sure I'm sure Coach Avert does his homework. He's a competitor. He's kind of quiet, but let me tell you, game days. Backdoor cut. Rolly lays it up. I could get it to go. Johnson pulls the rebound, Roley riding him down the court, and there will be a foul. And that can be could have been called maybe multiple yeah. times down the court there. I think that, I think the, the ref I think the ref just kind of wanted to see if he'd back off, but I mean a little bump fouls that don't change uh, possession or don't really change the game. They tend not to call those, but when you start to get deep in the keys, same thing. Yeah, he's going to call it. No choice. We want to take a moment. Thank our great crew here at Spanish Fork 17 for helping make sure everything was set up for Jerry and I when we got there, got here tonight. Thank you so much for all your hard work. Here's Tyler Boyack, and that one's off. Polson. Oh, Polson, stay down, son. Goes high for the board, almost pulled it, but. Yeah, we're going to need you for uh, Wasatch coming up here next Tuesday. Road trip. I don't believe we're doing that one over at Wasatch, Jerry. I may just go to it anyways, I don't know. <laughs> But Friday night, we'll be back at home. Spring Hill is in town. Should be another fun one. Love me some Golden Eagle basketball. Baseline drive. Here's a oh. three for Ford. That one's off. Rebound going to be pulled down. Mortensen gets it in the corner. Skip pass all the way. Nice shot by Mortensen on the clear out there. Look Ford. at Everything is contested. No easy baskets. No easy passes either. Another deep three. That one is off. Rebound going to be... Pulled down by Colton Mortensen for finding a wide inside. open Jaden Terry. And Jayden Terry inside. And Payson wants a timeout with 4.58 to go wow. in the fourth quarter. Lead is down to 11. So didn't see this happening. Five minutes left to go. I'd like to mention our sponsors, Car Guys with the Car Guys Instant Replay. State Farm Lance Wilson for the great assist. Triple T Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. MVP Sports. Two Jacks Pizza. And as always... SFCN, built for speed. So with 4.58 to go in the fourth quarter, a, a, a big timeout here for Payson, Jerry, because the Lions really, if they're going to try to chip away at this lead, hey, they're going to have to do it right now. They're just they're just, uh, they're just just a basket away from a single-digit deficit. So there's still life in these Lions yet. Maple Mountain didn't put them away like they could have in the you know end of the third, beginning of the fourth. So suffering the consequences now. And we'll see Maple Mountain. It looks like they have the starters ready to go back in here for the Golden Eagles with 4.58 to go. Yep. Long, long 4.58. I mean, the rest of the ball game has gone lightning quick, but now we got a ball game. Let's see. So it should be interesting just to kind of see how everything goes. This is going to be a very big about minute and a half because if Payson's going to make a run, you think of it, they're going to have to start it now, but they're going to have to get probably back within five around the three-minute mark, yeah, I would so, say. So because we're on offense, we, we see Caleb Johnson in for Croman Hook. Um, if there's a foul which puts Maple Mountain on defense, I can, can pretty much assure you that Croman Hook will be in there. Caleb Johnson with the basketball gets it in the middle. Here's Jaron Hall, and there's going to be a oh, foul. Oh, wow. They're, 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 calling, they're calling the small stuff. That's three on Mortensen. Of course, I think Lunt has no choice but to keep him in there. So that's four fouls now for uh, Payson. Three away from the bonus. Caleb Johnson set to inbound for Maple Mountain. Gets it in. Here's Cade Polson. Polson gets it over. Johnson thought about it. Now Johnson uh, to the hall. Hall, take that shot, son. Wide open right there in the middle of the key. Tried to get it to Dawson Butler on the low baseline there, but just couldn't quite get it to go. Mortensen trying to post up Hall. 
on the other end. Here's a shot. That one was long. Rebound oh, pulled down by Butler. Oh, for the rebound. Dawson Butler. Johnson into the front course. Cross court pass. Christensen thought about it. He'll pass it up. Polson won't. That one's going to be tipped, but Butler pulls the rebound. Christensen in the middle. Hall goes up. He's fouled. fouled He's had the free throw Barr. line. That's only Barr's. I got that as Barr's first foul. Would be the fifth team foul against the Pace and Lions. Oh, the first team Jaren foul against Barr. And now Jaron Hall heads to the line to shoot a pair. So Jaron Hall, seven points, seven quiet points tonight. First time to the line. First one on its way is oh, long. Long. Reno, Reno coming long. back in for Payson. Reno played a lot in that first half, but then picked up three fouls and had to go sit. Hall at the line hits the next hits the next free throw. Twelve point lead right now. Here comes Payson. Baseline drive, Reno with the basketball. He's going to get it back. Ooh, Here's Barr. Missed, they missed uh, Ford on the back cut. Barr oh. takes it right to the basket for an easy layup. Probably the easiest bucket Payson's gotten all night. Yep, Christensen went for the steal on the backside. Dawson Butler with the basketball. Here's Christensen in the middle. Caleb Johnson inside to Hall, who will lay it in. Nice. Nice inside ball game that I, for Jaron Hall. I like seeing him in there uh, along with Butler. Easy buckets. Hall guarding Colton Mortensen on the other end of the court. Been an interesting matchup to watch. That one, he goes There's Quick knocks. hands by Butler. So you got any big plans this weekend? Homework? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad to be done with that. Homework and sleep. Oh. That's my plans for the weekend. Quick hands again by Dawson Butler. You know, he gets about two or three steals a game. Alter shots down below. He's a candidate for our MVP sports MVP of the game. Caleb Johnson will pull it back out here. We'll thank Triple T, Heating, Cooling, Plumbing. Two Jacks Pizza as well as that one. Butler's able to save it. Here's Pulse. Oh, spins. nice spin move. Banks that one. No, rebound's going to be go on the ground. It's going to be a jump ball. Possession arrow favors Maple Mountain. Mortensen and Hall kind of rolling around on the deck. No one willing to give that ball up. So at 2.59 to go as it's 52 to 40. Get substitution here as it's going to be like bars to thank, to take out. Yeah, I'd like to thank Triple T Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing for sponsoring uh, us here. Maple Mountain Basketball Games, Spanish Fork 17. I'd also like to thank the Car Guys for our Car Guys instant replay. All fouled as he put up the three. Payson trying to plead their case right here and <laughs> the now crowd wants a technical that's four on Reno let's see if Lunt leaves him in I would think with 256 on the clock he's yeah. one of your best defenders that had pretty much anybody in foul trouble is going to stay on the court so Hall, Jaron Hall 50% from the line so far Hall will shoot three. First one on its way is good that one is good Jaron Hall with 11 points 13-point lead. Maple Mountain a chance to extend it to 15 here with the free throws. Hall hits the second one as well. He's got such a pure wow. stroke, it seems like, at the free throw oh, line. Oh, it was a three-pointer he was he was fouled yeah. on. Okay. He's fouled from the three. Teach me to watch the game. <laughs> Third one for Hall on its way is good. So, so three for three on that one. Hi, welcome to Two Jacks Pizza. For the best pizza you'll ever taste, and our world famous cheese sticks. Come to Two Jacks Pizza on Main Street in Spanish Fork or call us for a quick delivery. Are you hungry yet? In Spanish Fork, see your good neighbor State Farm agent Lance Wilson for your insurance and financial needs. And now a 15 point lead and Payson has to play with a little more urgency here. Needing the three pointers to start falling. Reno on the drive, takes it all the way. That's going to oh. be an offensive foul. Reno got in the middle of the key and just mowed over. If that's on Reno, that's. That's five. He's gone. So 
so Reno will foul out. He was kind of, he stayed in the game, but then kind of wow. picked up his fouls and stretches here. You would think the and now it looks like they're going to go over to the to the scores table here. I think they want to check the book to make sure that was five. Oh, it's in my book. It's five because I'm always right. But more importantly, that's that puts uh, Maple Mountain in the bonus. But since that was an offensive foul, it's just going to be Maple Mountain ball underneath. Well, from here on out, Maple Mountain shooting. Bar to pressure the inbound, gets it in. Here's Cade Polson. Polson does have to get it across relatively quick, and Rowley reaching in. Polson just dribbles right through. That one's going to be knocked yeah. out of bounds. He'll knocked stay here of, with Maple knocked Mountain. Knocked out by Terry. So. Maple Mountain kind of hitting on all cylinders tonight. And now Maple Mountain wants a timeout with 2.37 yep. to go in the fourth quarter. Averett wants 30 seconds to talk about it, how they're going to play this last uh, 2.37 with a 15-point lead. I guess coaching doesn't stop when you get a big lead. Maple Mountain has done fairly well this year, too, beating that press. And so it's definitely yeah. something, too, that you have to watch out if you're pacing because, really, if you keep the ball in the middle of the floor, and you don't put the ball on the ground. If you can just pass right down the floor, you can have a layup every time out of that press. Oh, yeah, Maple Mountain, you, you really can't press them. They have so much speed and really good ball handlers. Kate Polson, Jaron Hall, Christensen, all good ball handlers. And, of course, a 6'5 Butler down loaded, you can always pass it to. Maple Mountain, of course, halfway through the first round of Region 8 play after tonight's game. Still to see Wasatch, Springville, and Crosstown rival Spanish Fork. And it's going to be kind of interesting to see. You think of it, I mean, right now, to get out of that first round, that first time through, through region play, be 3-0 and tonight, heading into Wasatch. I mean, ho hopefully you hold on yep. in this next 237. But let's just say they do, and yeah. you're 3-0. and at some, But at some point, you know, being undefeated in region becomes, becomes oppressive itself, you know. Oh, nice back Pulsing cut. on the back up, but couldn't quite finish it. Butler will pull it back out. The end goal is, of course, to be playing the state tournament up at the Huntsman Center on the University of Utah campus. Hall on the cut, kicks it out. Cromanhook thought about it, and he'll pass it up, and Christensen pulls it out. I'd like to see Cromanhook drive that. Christensen goes around the screen. Now he'll pull it out for Maple Mountain. 2.08 to go, fourth quarter. Oh, that battle down low between Rowley and Polson. And Rowley's just being physical. Polson takes it to the basket. Couldn't get the bank shot to go. Now a whistle's going to come in late. And Polson a little Jersey's bit. Jersey's being pulled. And I don't know what they're going to call here. But if that's on uh, Mortensen, that's his fourth. We'll see here as they do. And they're going to get uh, Rowley, it looks like. I'm surprised they didn't call that early. But that's five on Rowley as well. And Dan Lunt wants to kind of... Uh, I mean, he Get was an explanation here from he the, was he was being physical all game. I mean, I like the way the kid plays, um, but he was he was as physical with Polson as I've seen anybody. Of course, I guess when you're that small in stature, that's what you got to go to. Um, he was fun to watch. It was a good battle. So they and checked now, with the book to make sure over at the scores table, make sure that was five, yep. and it was five. So Rowley's gone, uh, Reno's gone. I think Bleggy just came in for him, right? Yeah, he did. So now Poulston will go to the line. He'll get a pair here at the free throw line. And the first one on its way for Cade Poulston is good. You know, I like see I like seeing people body up Cade Poulston because that just elevates his game. I mean, he just. You put a challenge on Kate Polson. He steps up to it and smacks it down. So 16 points for Polson, of course. My number is not always completely accurate. That one rattled in and out. Colton Mortensen with the rebound coming here for Payson. Into the front court. Mortensen, number 32, gets the basketball over to, to Barr. Drops it into the high post. Mortensen throws, throws that one away. away. And that's really been kind of Payson's night tonight. Some turnovers have led to easy baskets, and Maple Mountains took that momentum. And oh, Mo Maple Mountains just been swarming all game. All gets it in. That one's going to be stolen away. Oh. They're going to say stepped on the line, though. That's going to be Maple Mountain basketball. Jaden Terry had the steal, but they threw it off of Christensen, but he was already out of bounds. But nice attempt by Jaden Terry, who's been uh, the, the bright point for Payson tonight. 14 points. 
Dawson Butler will points. come to inbound it in that corner. There's no place. Butler can't run the baseline or anything, so he's just got to get it in, and he will to Cade Bolson. The 139 left to go in the ball game. Bolson crossover, kicks out to Croman Hook. Looks like uh, Maple Mountain's just content to burn some clock. Hall Smart. Hall with the basketball now. He's going to go around the screen, gets it back. Here's Dawson Butler. Butler kicks it over. Here's Croman Hook. You know, at this point, if I was on the court, I'd try and get it to the senior Croman Hook, get him some points. He's worked so hard this game. Oh boy, he would have had him there on the back cut. That one knocked away from yep. Christensen. He'll pull it out. I don't think they're looking to score at all. Polson on the drive. He goes to the oh, basket. Jump ball. Jump, jump ball. ball. Possession arrow favoring Payson with 102 to go in the fourth quarter. I think Polson might have got popped in the face. Right there. Give Bluggy credit. He just kind of grabbed and just held on for dear life. He did. And now Maple Mountain wants a timeout with 102 to go here. 16-point lead for the Golden Eagles as Maple Mountain heads to Wasatch on Tuesday night. That will be always a fun place. Wasatch, a, kind of a fun place to go visit over there. Nice gym and everything like that. It was a fun trip to make last year. Yeah, Spanish Fork is at UN tonight. And, of course, next Friday they'll be hosting Payson. Should be fun. We want to thank our sponsors one final time tonight, the Car Guys, for the Car Guys Instant Replay. Lance Wilson State Farm, Triple T Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, and VP Sports. Two Jacks Pizza and Spanish Ford Community Network. So let me ask you this: uh, At this point, would you would you take Kate Paulson out of the game? I would, just with the way I that ankle's so. been. Yeah. I mean, I know he he'd want to be out there, and that's probably not what Kate would like me to say. And he but, can't he can't dial it back. So. I mean, at this point, you're up 16. I. I, I mean, maybe you sub him in offense for defense, but. I don't know. That's just how I would do it. Oh, How's yeah. it going to be knocked away? Here's Mortensen, throws up a three and hits. And now Payson wants a timeout. I believe that should be the Lions' final timeout here with 47 seconds. So 13-point lead for the Golden Eagles. 47.6 seconds left. Yeah, I think I would pull my quarterback with, with this big of a lead. Uh, fourth, fourth period, you know, get, get him some rest going into the long weekend. Of course, Avert might be practicing on Monday. You never know. Especially, yeah, especially with a game against Wasatch on Tuesday. So they probably will be practicing on on a, on a holiday. Should be kind of interesting, though, to see Wasatch, a team last year that was, you know, I'm trying to think of how to describe it. Because on paper, they didn't look, you know, if you looked just at their stat line, you'd Ooh, say, okay, no. kind of the bottom part. But when they got on the floor and played, they weren't a bad team. They lost a lot, though, off that team last year. Yep. I think so. And, of course, uh, when Spanish Fork faced Wasatch, uh, Spanish Fork lost by 15. I think I think Spanish just had an off night because they have a really good basketball team over there this year as well. So Payson's going to bring here the press. You see the official letting Jaron Hall know that he can run the baseline here. So number three coming in for Payson, Justin Riley. Kind of, a kind, of, kind of a roly s type kid. <laughs> Christensen will bring it into the front court, set it up. 39 seconds to play. Here's Kroman up. Yeah, nobody's looking to shoot. I think they're just going to burn the clock. Payson won't foul. Down the lane now. Okay, we'll get a Payson foul will foul. That's on Damon Barr, his second. And now you'll get uh, Kate Polson to the line to shoot a one and one. Everyone wants to get. Everyone wants to get. Uh, Kate Polson to 20 points, I guess. Kate, a very quiet 20 tonight for Kate Polson. Uh, he's got, well, six, he's he's got 16 at, now. I guess he's at 16, I shouldn't say. <laughs> I'm sure Payson doesn't want me to round up. <laughs> As oh, Polson come missed on, the free Kate. throw. Roman Hook, though, goes to the sky for the rebound. Cross court pass. Here's Butler. Well, that, and Butler oh. will be fouled immediately by Bluggy. And now Butler heads the free throw line. That just kind of sums up Payson's night. Rebound, everything everything coming up uh, Maple Mountain. So Butler goes into the line. Butler has 10 on the night. So great all-around scoring for Maple Mountain tonight. Uh, Polson 16, Hall 13, Butler 10, and Christensen 11. So Butler makes the first of a pair. And now we'll see the bench cleared out for Maple Mountain. There we go. That's Gather smart. Cole, Brad Bird coming in. It's going to be... 
I've got Steve Will Radican coming in the ball game. I want to see Kurt Rambis, Will Matthew and Ballard. With those, now you're going to get glasses. also Jared Blanthorne coming in. And Maple Mountain will clear out the bench. And Ballard is still on the sideline. I believe there's somebody at the table, too, ready to check in for Butler, depending on how this free throw goes. And that one is off, and the rebound goes to Payson. 20 seconds on the clock. Lions trying to close out strong. Butler pull, sorry, Bird pulls the rebound, gets it to Dawson. Butler head to Blanthorne. Blanthorne will just kind of, he'll take a jumper and he missed it. Oh, rebound. he's not going to hold the ball. These guys get rare playing time. They want some points. Four seconds on the clock for Payson. Feed me, Seymour, feed me. Shot goes up, is long, and the final buzzer sounds. And the Maple Mountain Golden Eagles come out victorious here tonight. The Golden Eagles move to 3-0 in Region 8 play. And with a 57-43 win against the Payson Lions. We'll take a break here on Spanish Sports 17. When we come back, we'll wrap this one up and have the MVP Sports MVP of the game. Sports is the number one source for sporting goods in Spanish Fort. Football, soccer, all the fall sports, we've got you covered. Check out our new custom t-shirt builder. Design at home and we'll build it for you. MVP Sports, 72 North Main in Spanish Fork. You know Triple T heating and cooling, but did you know that Triple T does plumbing? From tankless hot water, soft water, and reverse osmosis drinking water systems, right down to that leaky faucet. Triple T sure does plumbing. Call Triple T at 801-798-7711 today. Need a new car or truck? The Car Guys has the best selection of used vehicles at the best prices in Spanish Fork. The Car Guys know their automobiles to get you the best car for your needs and your budget. The Car Guys at 872 North Main in Spanish Fork. Well, tonight they're excited here at Maple Mountain as the Golden Eagles come out with a 57-43 victory tonight over the visiting Pace and Lions. Maple Mountain moves to 3-0 in Region 8 play and once again now gets ready to go on the road where, Jerry, we've talked about it throughout region play last year. You have to protect the home court and then you have to go steal, steal a, a few on the road and hopefully they can steal one up at Wasatch on Tuesday um, before hosting Springville that next Friday. That's going to be an emotionally elated game when the Springville Red Devils come to town. Both matchups are going to be good, both the girls and the uh, and the so. boys games. That's going to be two very good ones. It's just going to be interesting to see how these two, t um, especially how Maple Mountain handles now the long break and then you have the long trip to Wasatch. Oh, yeah. Maple Mountain, though, a lot of good things happening tonight. A lot of things for Maple Mountain that you look at and you go, hey, this is exactly what we're looking for. Yep. One thing is Dawson Butler coming up. I hadn't seen him have 10, 11 points before. He had a great game tonight all oh, around. Block shots, uh, 12 points, a couple steals, a plethora of rebounds. So, yeah, so tonight, Dawson Butler, our MVP sports MVP of the game. Congratulations, Dawson Butler. I believe this is the second time getting it. So, just played an all-around good game. Nice job. So Dawson Butler wins the MVP sports MVP of the game. Our final score here tonight, Maple Mountain 53, Payson. Sorry, Maple Mountain 57, Payson 43. There you go. Here as the Golden Eagles come out victorious. You can catch replays of this game and our many other broadcasts on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Spanish Fork 17. At tonight, though, Maple Mountain comes out victorious, 57-43. For my partner, Jerry Huffman, for our entire crew here at Maple Mountain High School, saying so long until next week for Maple Mountain at home for Springville.